Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to present a short contribution on behalf of the Czech Republic, which continues to put emphasis upon the sustainable development agenda in education and is currently in the process of transforming the education system. In October 2020, the new strategy for the education policy of the Czech Republic up to 2030 was adopted, focusing upon sustainable development competences, elimination of inequalities, access to quality education, support for teachers, digital literacy, and on ensuring stable funding. Prepared with maximum openness and transparency, this strategic document is based upon a wide spectrum of innovative ideas. As the first step, guidelines for the education policy were created. Afterwards, there were public discussions, conferences and consultations that involved the widest range of education policy stakeholders possible. The purpose for these consultations was to ensure that both professionals and the public had the opportunity to actively influence the document. There were more than 1,000 direct participants at roundtables and conferences, academics, experts, school principals, teachers, school founders, as well as parents and youth, and more than 8,000 online views. This strategy, 2030 plus, will be implemented within three periods that will lead to the creation and development of an open education system, which will respond to the ever-changing external environment and provide relevant educational content over a lifelong perspective. The first implementation period is currently in progress and involves a public participation. The priority of our ministry is to introduce a revised curricula which would reflect the needs of the 21st century. As for the COVID-19 pandemics, the crisis has strongly affected the whole society, including the education sector and young people. This new and sudden situation required adequate methodological, technical, financial and personal support, which was provided by our ministry in various ways. So let me briefly present the main activities. During the year 2020, the budget for regional education was strengthened, special funds for schools for the acquisition of ICT equipment for primary and secondary schools amounted to 1.3 billion Czech rounds. 75,000 computers for pupils and teachers were purchased. Our ministry also issued a methodological recommendation for distance learning for schools with a focus on mental health and a course called Safe a Cyber to explain risk in the cyberspace. We supported children and youth through subsidy programs to reduce the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Together After COVID call focused on activities of secondary schools providing vocational education. The summer camps call focused on children with compulsory school attendance. The camps took place in summer 2021 and were free of charge. Following the unprecedented crisis due to the pandemic, the government of the Czech Republic prepared the national recovery plan. The plan is a strong combination of reforms and investments funded from European Recovery and Resilience Facility Funds. The plan also aims at tackling inequalities in education and investing in preschool facilities. The Johannes Amos Comenius program for the period 21 to 27, approved on 9 June 2022 by the European Commission, is aimed at supporting the development of an open and educated society based upon knowledge and skills equal opportunities and developing the potential of everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for your attention.